Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I wanted to show you all my top 10 favorite art supplies of all time. These are my ride or die holy grail art supplies. And just so you guys know, this list is in order of how I use them in this video, not in any order of preference or anything like that. So the first supply that I want to talk about is the Handbook Co Company Sketchbook. So this little sketchbook is fan-freaking-tastic and I've actually almost filled it all up. The paper is really sturdy and toothy and it takes watercolor just as well as it takes pencil, but it also has a lot of pages and that makes it so that I don't feel bad when I'm using the pages to stick things in or scribble on or make lists. It's the perfect sketchbook to make beautiful art or to make a mess in and I honestly adore it. It also has a great clear pocket in the back, a ribbon uh, to mark your place, and a cloth cover with a sturdy elastic strap. The second thing on my list is this Tombow Mono Zero eraser. This is a retractable eraser. Um, it's kind of like a mechanical pencil and it's so little and tiny. <laughs> I love this thing so much. Uh, you can purchase refills for when you burn through it, which is awesome. And it's just so small that it's really easy to be precise and erase tiny little details. My third holy grail art supply is this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Black India ink. Um, this is actually pretty crazy because I used to swear by the Winsor & Newton black ink, um, but this one has honestly become my new love. Uh, it's really dark and black and it dries to this lovely matte finish, which is what puts it a step above the Winsor & Newton for me. Um, and it will not budge, smudge, smear, ruin your piece in any way. Um, it's also really easy to apply and it has a really nice consistency and I honestly, I honestly love it. My fourth ride or die art supply has got to be my Sennelier watercolor paper um, in the rough format. So this can actually be a little bit tricky to find in America, especially in the larger sizes, but it is by far my favorite paper of all time. Um, it's got a lovely rough surface and it creates beautiful granulation uh, because of how textured it is. And it just really lends itself to creating interesting textures. It also layers paint beautifully, um, but it's also easy to lift paint as well. You just have a lot of control with this paper and it's the perfect paper for me. So the fifth supply that I want to talk about is actually my portable painter. I just got it this year, but it's already become one of my all-time favorite art supplies. Um, for a more detailed review, you can check out my previous video. I will link it up in the little eye in the top right corner. Uh, but this thing is amazing. Uh, it's barely larger than my phone and it contains pretty much everything I could ever need to paint on the go. And because of its design, it balances really nicely on my knee or on an uneven surface. So I'm a big fan of the portable painter. The sixth supply is what is actually inside the portable painter. And that is my favorite watercolor paint. So I do love and adore my Schmincke paints. I think my Dan Smith are just a little bit above them in terms of preference. They're just so ridiculously pigmented. They're gorgeous. They're easy to work with. Um, they have a huge color range. It's got metallics and all kinds of interesting colors. And a lot of um, their colors create really amazing granulation effects as well, especially when combined with this paper. Um, it's just such high quality paint and I actually find it relatively affordable for the quality. So the seventh thing on this list is a brush, and as a general rule, I've never invested much in brushes, but this brush is just, it's phenomenal. Um, I picked it up on sort of a whim, and I cannot express how much I love it. Um, it's a silver black velvet brush in size 4. It's a squirrel hair and synthetic combo, and it's its just so lovely. It's, it's really easy to hold in your hand, and the brush tip is amazing. Um, it holds so much paint and it works really well for filling in areas, but the point gets so fine and skinny that you can use it for all of your details as well. Um, I did this entire painting with just this one brush, which should say something about its versatility. So coming in next at number eight is my Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. Um, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I use these all the time. Uh, I love sketching with them. Their colors are so vibrant, it's just ridiculous. Um, they're just really easy to use and they just like melt away at the touch of water. They don't leave any pencil marks underneath and they're just so vibrant. I, I love them. The ninth thing on this list is my go-to masking fluid and this is actually my second bottle of it. Um, and it's the Incredible White Mask Liquid Frisket. It's the least staining masking fluid that I found yet. Um, it does still stain ever so slightly but it's not really noticeable at all. Um, the consistency is also very fluid and it's very easy to work with. 
and a little really does go a long way with this. It also pulls up very cleanly and easily, which is important to me. The last art supply that I want to mention is the Uniball Signo White Gel Pen. Um, I used to use the jelly rolls that kind of everyone uses, but this has just knocked them out of the park. Uh, the ink flows so much better than the, uh, the, the jelly rolls, and the white is really opaque and it really covers well. Um, I do wish the tip was a little bit finer, but this is definitely taken over as my favorite gel pen, uh, and I would highly recommend it to you guys. So I really hope you guys found this helpful. These are by far my favorite art supplies, they're the ones that I couldn't live without, and I would wholeheartedly recommend every single one of them. If you like this video, uh, subscribe, join the Wonderland fam today, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really does help me out. I upload new videos every Friday, so I will see you next week. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!